Hello everybody and welcome to Uligan's Christmas is Coming. This is a fun little Christmas game that Graham from Two Left Thumbs invited me to play, along with Nezaru and Super Positive. The game plays a lot like Monster Prom but without the dating aspect and an obvious Christmas theme. We played the game in one sitting and I'll probably break this up into four videos for you guys. And one thing to note is that the video is from Super Positive's perspective because my video unfortunately was corrupt, but due to the nature of the gameplay it shouldn't matter too much because you can still see everything that I'm doing. You can find everyone's channels in the description and a Merry Christmas to you all. I do hope Hope you enjoy. Father Christmas and Mother Earth come for the feast every year and stay for a few weeks after. They're so proud of their son and what he does for all the good children of the world. Santa doesn't always see that though. We need him and his jolliest for the sleigh ride. And that's why they have the spa in the back. <laughs> Jim. I, instantly, <laughs> hey? What, what did you do? Jim. Just Jim, 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 Jim. <laughs> this is going to be the most hench elf you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually, I am genuinely interested to see if this is the exact same scenario or if there's new scenarios when you pick the same option. Christmas isn't Christmas without some heavy lifting. Spend the week picking up heavy presents and putting them down. You gain three strong. Oh my god, I'm at six strong. God, you're going to fucking you walk. <laughs> be the bodyguard for Mr. Claus, I see. <laughs> <laughs> walk the rest of equipment one afternoon. Your eyes catch. Okay. Okay. Things are changing. Okay. Yeah, eyes catch to quite muscular elves again. berating another, each of the steadily built elves. They shout about pumping the poor soul up all the, uh, all the while destroying their confidence. Damn, I cannot read at all. That was also uh, a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, some people thrive on a little extra encouragement to get their gains. But something about how pillow-like these two's bodies are making makes you think, maybe they don't know what they're talking about. I'm just so throwing shade have, at these people. Yeah, you've gone to the gym twice, and you're now the chat of the gym. <laughs> Krampus <laughs> went and found a new place to hang out. You're, if, you run this town. If Krampus tries to park on me again, I will throw him by his feet. <laughs> so unfortunately i cannot ask the elves for training because i have no money <laughs> like you you are all out there working working your jobs and getting a wage and she's like mm, nope jim shoo away the elves you puff up your chest and approach the bullies what do you want puny elf <laughs> <laughs> one of the two grunts as you approach you push through them causing them to fall to the floor a little too easily. Jeez, you're a balloon pop. <laughs> a balloon pops, causing one arm to deflate. A uh, pillow flies out from under the sweatshirt of another. <laughs> a shriek of alarm echoes throughout the gym as they pick up their muscles and head for the locker room. The berated elf smiles and thanks you before going back to the bench press. One nice and one jolly. I love how the, the result of that was, oh, their muscles were fake. <laughs> so you actually the... are the strongest elf yeah. there as of yet uh, that we know of. This is true. <laughs> there, there is this phenomenal video of like uh, people wearing like real medieval armor doing kind of like a staged mock battle. I can't tell how seriously they're meant to be taking it, but there's mm. one dude there who's like seven feet tall and is oh clearly so much bigger than everyone else and taking it way too seriously <laughs> and so the little guy like runs up to him and he just shouts from his helmet like tell me how the grass tastes little man and he puts up his shield <laughs> and the guy just pew just bounces off oh my <laughs> it's God. so hard and that's what i picture is that you yeah. are towering over these little elves and just, just this like, giant oh, hulking oh. elf <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I picked the same option and it gave me a different scenario. I was really oh, expecting cool. Krampus to be back parkouring again. I imagine with the game where uh, the only options you have are like, what, seven, eight? You have eight different options to go to. They all need like their varied dialogue options. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. the game would get boring real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think we have confirmed that speed affects turn order. Yeah, Because they have definitely. two speed. I'm gonna go to the workshop. Move presents, make toys. I want to make some toys. You spend the entire week inside the workshop hammering away at toys with your fellow elves at the assembly line. Don't forget to whistle while you work. You gain one jolly, one speed, and one gumdrop. 
Forgot to whistle. Today is the day they introduce <laughs> all the graduated trainees to the workshop floor. Partway through the day, one of the new faces bounces up to you, beaming ear to ear. Oh, great, it's a new guy again. I just made my first gumdrop, they exclaim. Can you believe it? A gumdrop of my very own. Okay, wait. Is that so... not like a legal printing of <laughs> yeah, my... I, was, I, was, I was just about to ask, like, it's, I thought that was our currency. If he just made a gum... Like, if he just made a gumdrop, did that not mean that he's printing the currency? <laughs> Friendos, I don't think it was literal. <laughs> you, either, you either report this guy or ask for a cut of this counterfeit dough. <laughs> <laughs> well, whether it was real or not, the elf holds his prize out for all to see. Look at my gumdrop! Give advice, steal, steal the gumdrop! <laughs> <laughs> steal the gumdrop! Your, your hand darts over the naive elf's outstretched palm. They shout in alarm. Ah! First lesson is making the drop. Second lesson is keeping them. You laugh as you walk away. <laughs> Someone needs to teach these youths that not everyone is on the nice list, and it might as well be you. You gain one naughty. I gained one naughty. I'm neutral again. Uh-oh. I was a little surprised that wasn't... We're too naughty. Oh, but you I also got one more gumdrop. Nice. You just stole from someone. Oh, I should like, have yeah. probably... Not I didn't actually realize that naughty was a metric that that was on yeah. the board. Yeah, I just... He I'm realizing money now that there's, like, a shiny present and, like, a broken, ugly present. Oh, yeah. oh or is that coal? That's coal, I think. Oh, it might be just bundled yeah. up coal. It's yeah. coal. Yeah, you're right. Stealing, stealing that gumdrop from that poor naive little new guy was pretty punk rock, though. I gotta say. <laughs> Has anyone gone to the kitchen? Oh, you you made the cookies. That's right. I did. Uh, I I don't know. Has anyone actually gone to the think, wool? I don't think anyone. No, no one's gone, gone to the woods. No, no one's gone to the woods or the um, workshop. I don't think that that two that haven't been. <laughs> Whoa. As nice route as possible. I, I don't want any that's neutral or naughty. I'm some I'm, I'm not gonna taunt the snowkins. I don't even <laughs> oh, they, okay, I love them. Oh what? I wanna <laughs> spend time with them too. <laughs> you spent the week participating in the snowkin communal feasts. Ideas and stories are shared freely as you relax into the evenings. You gain one nice, one jolly, one creative. I'm so weak. No strong. <laughs> An unseeably, unseasonably warm breeze flutters through the woods as you walk along a side path one afternoon. Ooh, I hope, like, El Nino is like a character. <laughs> Ahead of you on the path, you believe you see a snowkin with brown fur and a strange gait. Is it a, a, a reindeer? <laughs> it crests a hill and you silently follow for a better look. On the other side, you can make out a group of snowkin laughing and talking as they meander about. Uh, are these like bad snowkin? I don't know. I don't. I don't know I what to think. I don't think, think if so. you assume they're bad, you're a bad person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at look at that oh, guy. No. Uh, they look different. They're probably bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's racial profiling. Very yeah. wrong attitude there for a young sweet elf. I'm gonna continue to search. You ignore them and push off the trail to continue for the searching for the individual with such a unique stride. Shortly after, you come upon a cluster of oddly colored rocks. You decide to rest on them a while as you attempt to deduce where your new friend had gone. I keep doing these like de detective routes and I'm very yeah. bad at them. <laughs> the rocks have an interesting heat to them and you soon find yourself dozing off. Hours later, you awaken, unsure if anything that had happened earlier was real. <laughs> what did they put in that <laughs> feast? You wander home, not having found what you wanted, but with renewed vigor from your nap. Damn it. Well, that was just like not... I gained a strong... That's... Hey, you know. finally got a singular muscle. I mean, I like that I have a lot of jolly, but this kind of like... I, I would rather be heavily invested in, like, two stats rather than this, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Didn't feel like a great week for me. Can I also <laughs> Every time you gain a strong, you gain one singular ab. Oh, I don't the think I can mind. also go to the gym. If you're at the, the gym, gym, 
is mine. <laughs> that that, that <laughs> sucks because you're the fastest and the strongest one here. And I want to be faster than Graham. And I can't do that if you keep doing this. It's a no, pretty Jim. funny strategy to just hog the gems and no one else <laughs> <Not Jim. laughs> Okay, so Abominable Woods of. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go work for my feed. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, no, this isn't where you make toys. That's up there. Oh, no. I guess I'll go to see Krampus. Well, or I can go to the kitchen. I'll see Krampus. Let's go encourage Krampus. Or discourage. Is Krampus good? I don't know. <laughs> Kramp yeah. Krampus is bad in a good way. Encourage Krampus. <laughs> there you go. Oh god, down... what's he doing to you? I don't know, and that's the thing that worries me. Deep down, you know... On. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down, you know Krampus is only trying to make the world a nicer place. You spend the week trying to help him find the naughty and nice list. You gain one nice, one strong, and one creative. Krampus is stretching as you approach. He picks up two metal pots and clangs them together close to his ear, inspecting the sound. He swings around one of his switches, uh, getting in a few good whacks. Wait, sorry. He swings around one of his switches, getting in a good few whacks on the side of his sh shed. What is this? What is I, I'm Krampus so confused. Is Practicing for the Krampus run next month. Care to join? <gasps> Fuck yeah, let's practice. Oh, here's how you're going to get your speed. Krampus hands you the pots. The loud noises warn the naughty that the switch is coming. Wh what's the switch? It's like when you strip the branches off of like a thin, like when you strip all the side branches yeah. off of a thin branch so you can like whip people with it. Uh, what? Yeah, ba basically, <laughs> Kr Krampus uses like a bundle of sticks to just whack people. That's kind oh of his thing. Oh my lord! Uh, I mean, and, yeah, okay. That's what his switch oh. is. Oh my. Oh, I'm yeah, kinky. helping him with very bad things. No wonder his tail is wrapped around me. <laughs> you to keep you close. You clatter your instruments together to Krampus's delight as he continues practicing his switch skills. Your arms <laughs> are tired by the end. You gain one strong. And Still no it. speed. No speed. I wanted speed. <laughs> as November draws to a close, guests for the feast begin to arrive several days early. Time to put on the finishing touches. You never know who might show up. Santa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of hope so, yeah. So the jerk. Elves workshop. Music. Jim! Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Christmas isn't Christmas, that's some heavy lifting. Did Spend the whole week. Have a name? <laughs> Grr. I think you Muscles. also keep picking just the one, like, there's two gym options, and I think you're just picking the same one every time. You might have picked the second one once. She is going to be huge. <laughs> I hope there's yes. not, like, a battle. Three strong! Goody <laughs> Two Shoes stands next to the gym's bulletin board, tapping a foot and trying to flag down anyone that makes eye contact. Please, Goody, please. <laughs> I think that's it's a such goodie. a horrible thing. Goody? Oh, yes, it is. I'm saying Goody. <laughs> Goody. Please, Goody, pleads. Oh, that's a horrible sentence there. Uh, yeah. Describing her cycling class that promises to make your mind as quick as it does your legs. You look over the flyer she posted, only to realize it costs four gumdrops. I'm poor. I have no money. You haven't been working. I wonder why. Create my own. Yes. This game it's doesn't really good hand entrepreneurship. Out entrepreneurship. Yeah, there's not it's not it's not exactly easy to get them. You're getting like one at a time. Uh you head home trying to think of things you could teach uh cheaply at the gym. After several creative ideas, you land on blowing bubbles. <laughs> you're this strong, is... but you're not exactly <laughs> smart. I gotta right. say, this is like an absolute <laughs> yeah. hulk of a woman. And I'm she's just like, imagining that bubbles. episode from SpongeBob SquarePants yes, where same. he's teaching <laughs> he's giving lessons yeah. for a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> you do like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Double take <laughs> three times! <laughs> okay. 
Bring it around town. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all about breath control. Your figure. The other gym goers don't figure the same. As you stand there begging for students, you see uh, Gay's class filling up in one side of the... In what? Filling up in one of the side rooms. There you go. Your pride throbs in agony. Oh, as you shuffle home for the night. Oh, this is the one time you go to the gym and don't feel re like vigored. <laughs> yeah. Afterwards. I love I this like meathead route you're going for though. <laughs> that you're just jacked, but you're like sad and not creative. And <laughs> <laughs> it's just a hollow husk of an elf that's just jacked. I worked your, out to try and fill the void. Three sizes, but your heart shrunk four. <laughs> okay, I think I'll go to the kitchen. Do I bake or do I do a taste test? I made cookies. I think I'm last gonna go. Time. I'm gonna go all in on the naughty thing. Taste test. You spend <laughs> you the week tasting up. everything coming out of the kitchen to ensure only the bestest treats are given out. It's a hard job, but somebody has to do it. I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> you gain one jolly, one creative, and are paid one gumdrop. And you got paid! <laughs> Did you not get paid? I didn't even get on the naughty list. This was I my actual get... job. I got paid, <laughs> but I actually made the food. <laughs> <laughs> it's time once more for the semi-seasonal bake-off. Anyone working in the kitchen has a huge airplane passing over their house right now. I mean, this week has been drafted to participate. Lucky you! At the end of the week, the kitchen is transformed to accommodate an audience. You're given a list of foods you'll have to prepare. A midwinter turkey feast, homemade candy canes, and spiced eggnog. Ooh. The catch is that you'll have to bring your own ingredients. What do I do? Get inventive or I can buy rare ingredients. I have the gumdrops! This is this the first time I spend spending. my money. Yeah, yes. that's something I won't spend anything. You purchase a cookbook and make your way to the post office to place orders only for the best ingredients. Your recipes may not be original, but they're guaranteed to taste top-notch. The cheat code to cooking good shit. <laughs> the day of the bake-off arrives and the kitchen is packed with audience members. Is this actually a cooking contest? It's a tournament arc! <laughs> the buzzer sounds and you retrieve all your ingredients freshly delivered. Not even the two shoes family recipes can compete with buy with your buying power. Ah yes, goody two shoes. We showed her last time. We can show her again. Pay I mean, to your be fair, oh, I gotta pay. say, you, you you paid two weeks' wages for one meal. That's insane. Also, yeah, it's so not about money. Way. It's about sending also, a message to the goody two shoes. <laughs> also, as a, as a quick little side note, this is just to teach you that you win by a landslide. Money buys everything. Yes. <laughs> If you can buy an Oscar, then surely you could buy yourself a, a championship and a bake-off. <laughs> you gain two jolly and one creative. I think we've only gone to the museum once. And... I did Paul the weekly did... exhibit. So oh, yeah, you... I'll do research. Yeah. You spend the week delving into Christmas's history, discovering long-forgotten family traditions. From the Christmas you get family. Paid? <laughs> oh, you sweet! Paid. <laughs> <laughs> nice creative and a gumdrop. A group of snow elves push into the exhibit on Father Christmas's winter kingdom. A diorama showing the kingdom on a cloud sits in the middle of the room. Next to it, an old snowflake cutting and miniaturization station sits. Wow, that was a mouthful. Waiting to teach how the snow elves handcraft snowstorms. The group begins complaining about inaccuracies. I mean, weren't they making snowflakes? Every <laughs> snowflake is unique. It's literally impossible to make it's it to be accurate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One yanks uh, a lever on the snowflake station to prove it. The machine comes alive. What? Sheets of ice begin to wildly fire from a tube hanging overhead. Well, if it asks me this time to take on a detective role, I think I know who did it. <laughs> Um, melt with inner warmth. I am very jolly, but am I jolly enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my Christmas you jolly spirit enough. <laughs> you clap a nearby snow elf on the back, point at the oncoming sheets of ice. You let out an infectious laugh that spreads throughout the crowd. 
<laughs> so infectious. Oh <laughs> Between the heat of the laughter and the glow of your happiness, that ice didn't stand a chance. Staff turns the machine off and thanks you for your quick thinking. You gain one nice and one speedy. No! That, well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no! Wait. I have that should have been creative do. and jolly and nice. and That was everything. That was a very well-rounded okay. action. So the only... Okay, so the only ones that I think we haven't been to more than once is, like, Soda Jerk uh, and the Abominable what? Woods. So I'm going to go for the Abominable Woods, I think. Right, let's see. You have to taunt them, though. Uh, well, she, nope. She could still be new, but... Mm. It depends if you want to stay nice or lean naughty, I guess. I want to be a nice boy. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could just go with feast again because it most likely will be a new option. Yeah, yeah, it is a new new picture as well. You That's spend cute. the week participating in the Snowkin communal feasts. Ideas and stories are shared freely as you relax into the evenings. You gain one nice, one jolly, and one creative. As you take a stroll through the woods, you find a half-torn package. An attached note reads. To Abby Snow and a bottle of North Pole's freshest olive oil within. You recall that the Snowkin are holding a ceremony all week in honor of the rededication of one of their sacred monuments. They might need this. On the other hand, Claus's kitchen would be extremely grateful for some North Pole's freshest. The kitchen like keeps a drug. the North Pole going, <laughs> so any help it can get. No, I'm not giving it to the kitchen. Literally, my options are help with the cultural restoration of, like, the society. <laughs> and also, they need ingredients for the kitchen. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna... they can make do with canola oil. They'll be <laughs> fine. Delivering to Abby. The leader of the Snowkin paces her tent as you enter. Before she can launch into a righteous tirade, you hand her the olive oil. She guesses, this is the only fuel we got for our fires. She tosses you a gumdrop and hurries off to the ceremony. <laughs> At the end of the week, you walk past a gathering of dozens of snowkin, dancing and singing around the bonfire. Several days, uh, several of those leaving murmurs that, wait, several of those leaving murmur that the bonfire has been burning for almost eight whole days. That couldn't all be off of your one flask, could it? You gain one jolly and are paid one gumdrop. Nice. Who knew olive oil was so multi-purpose? Oh my god. Santa is awake. I repeat, the big guy is up. Does he the hibernate? The feast is upon us and there's <laughs> still work to be done. Not only do we have Father Christmas and Mother Earth, but Jack Frost, the ghosts of Christmas past, and Abby Snow, leader of the Snowkin as well. Even Krampus has decided to join us on some holiday cheer. What could go wrong? I'm really curious if who is present is consistent or if that has to do with what we did. It seems like it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Who also, we helped. You guys confused me a lot by like reading one sentence, then the other. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting here for like a hot minute being like, wait, aren't you going to keep... Whoa, no, You're wait. <laughs> came up with popcorn reading. <laughs> We're transferring power. It's fine. Although I think that one scenario was the ghost of Christmas present, and it says that p past is here. So I really don't know. Yeah. Ooh, is there so an I option can... for you to bench press anything? Because I think that's all you're good for right now. <laughs> I think that you're... set the table. <laughs> right. Schmooze that's... guests by literally bench pressing. Oh, them. Just fucking no, the, go the over there and the flex. Look at the color of the lights between that. That's like oh. what it's. Oh. So I, I don't know nice. if you. Were... I can't do anything. <laughs> it totally is. It set the table, but only like one half of it. So I guess I do that. And um, you're, you're a little speedy. I'm a little speedy. Overflowing <laughs> plates need to get to the guests. Confirm. We have the silverware down on the table before too many more elves can come over to help. You lift some more of the extravagant dishes onto the table with ease. The Literally the dishes. I'm like bench pressing these dishes. <laughs> yeah, let's free up a lot of the elves to help elsewhere. Yes, I did a, I did a good thing. You did, you did oh. good. 
Being that was... fast is so useful for this part because there's only four options. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it looks like I will schmooze the guests. Entertain the guests while they wait for their feast. Confirm. With a pizzazz of a star, you're sent out first to greet the guests. You, com you compliment Father Christmas on his beard. Reminisce on old times with the ghosts of Christmas past. <laughs> That's and really banter amazing. curtly with Abby Snow. Everyone is merry and bright. Okay. Wow, I think you, seems like you crushed it. Well, I am not very crazy. Jolly was really my thing. I really wanted to schmooze. I guess I, mean, I would have been easy. Sad to ass is still Jolly. So. But it, it makes me wonder if it's speedy first, Jolly second. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I, it's the only one that makes sense. And by that, I mean I love it. It's what I want to do. <laughs> Get the dessert fast and with a smile. Everyone gets their desserts eventually. Oh, you slow boy. <laughs> their mood sour the longer they wait. Oh, oh no. no. Can we reorder so you schmooze them second? Because you just <laughs> lifted them up to have a great party and I'm bringing it right back to <laughs> I like Dessert. the way everyone's like, you notice this one-dimensional person that goes to the gym and oh, ends up being God, really look useful. Much, look at how much they guilt you. Dessert is the real reason they came. <laughs> no. We started off on such a high. Pick up the pace next time. Oh my time. God. Oh, All Santa's right, well, I only you. have one option left and it's to prepare but the side. You have, to you have high creative, so that works out. <sighs> <clears throat> Make inventive side dishes uh, before the feast begins. Confirm. <laughs> yeah, confirm. It's a terrible order. You get to work <laughs> in the kitchen, helping the others prepare the traditional sides for the feast. Vegetables, potatoes, and biscuits. The favorites are all there. The feast <laughs> is a little quieter than usual this year. Almost certainly because everyone is enjoying the food. Oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> Yet another good feast behind us. As the dessert plates are taken away, everyone briefly settles by the hearth, ready for another year of banter. Oh, this is a really long one. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Believe in you. <laughs> Krampus preaching about the need to punish all the bad children with coal. Abby Snow complaining about Mal and the other elves who continue to prank the Snowkin. And the ghosts of Christmas past and future arguing over which Christmas was slash will be the best. So Mal is just an elf. Mal's yeah. an asshole from <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all from that, yes. And, and so uh, the night ends with Santa leading his parents off to Mother Earth's cottage, exiting the room with a signature jolly laugh. Okay. A classic. Looks <laughs> like it's December oh, now. Whoa. New we buildings, have new, new areas. You can't work out anymore. How do you what feel? What am I gonna do? I am actually distraught. I'm gonna ice skate. <laughs> 